Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Topping our news tonight, a man ambushed a drug and alcohol recovery center in Smithville this morning. Police say he was trying to get to his ex-wife. The Serenity Star Resource Center was evacuated, and the man who was armed barricaded himself in that building for five hours. A DPS trooper was finally able to talk him into surrendering peacefully. Fox 7's Elizabeth Saab joining us live in the studio with more on this. Elizabeth. Well, Mike and Rebecca, it turns out that man, Robert Wayne Stevenson, had done some work on the DPS trooper's property. So once the two recognized each other's voices, the trooper was able to talk Stevenson out and take him into custody. Tonight, the women are back in their dorm safely. The owner telling us they will not let this scare them out of their home. We are a sacred, peaceful, safe environment. That safety at Serenity Star's women's dorm shattered early Wednesday morning. The women uh, were running and there was a man coming in with guns. Police say his name is Robert Wayne Stevenson and he was running after his ex-wife who has a restraining order. Gina has been sober for eight years now uh, and is on staff and helping other women. Her big concern was getting all the women out, even though she knew he was after her. With Gina and the rest of the women out, Stevenson barricaded himself in. I spotted snipers on the roof and cops everywhere. Taylor Gaddis happened to be walking in Smithville's downtown square. Main Street around there between Loop 230 and 1st Street was shut down for five hours. Businesses closed too. At first, we were just trying to open up. We didn't think that it was going to get this big, but a couple of people came in and told us that we should, like, vacate. Stevenson eventually surrendered, but not before leaving his mark behind. Any mirrors, glass, he seemed to be fixated on glass. He seemed to have attacked uh, the building itself, and a lot of glass is broken. There's been, uh, and he shot the washer and dryer. But he could not break the center's spirit. We look to our higher power for all the protection. Or their determination. This incident, I believe, shows us the level of abuse that women have had to go through to get their recovery here. To restore the sanctuary they've relied on for more than five years. We are a big family in recovery and we support each other through these times. And the center's co-founder, Terry Lopez, says the center also owns a 10-acre ranch nearby. That's where the men and some families live. They are trying to raise money to build a women's center there so that all of their facilities can be in one place. Mike. All right, thanks, Elizabeth.